end now we have some questions on numbers how to arrange numbers in case you have say let's have a simple example how many three digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if digits are not repeated now if digits are not repeated three digit numbers hence the three digit numbers had to be picked out of 1 2 3 4 5 so they can be made in five ways you can the first digit could be anything from sorry six of them i'm sorry six can be picked up zero cannot be in the first place because it's a three digit number then after you pick up one of them the second can be since the digits are not repeated the second can be anything other than the one which you have picked up including zero because in the tens place you can have zero too so that again leaves you with six now already two are selected so what is left is only five so the total number of numbers is six into six thirty six into five and that will turn out to be 180 such arrangements and hence we have this way we can logically find out the number of ways in which you can find the number of or we could even do this way the first digit is six and the remaining can be remaining two digits that is two more digits can be picked out of the remaining six so it is only six into six p2 which would also work out to be the same which would be six into six into five into four factorial upon six minus two four factorial which will also be six into six into five that is one the first digit you have to pick out of six the remaining two digits for them Six are available out of which you need to pick up two. So it's either six into six and six P2, which will turn out to be that. So this is how we have this. Okay. Now here, how do we have? We have a number greater than 100. So if it is greater than 100, the first digit in the hundreds place, you can choose one, two, three, four, five, six. We can choose. So we can choose the first digit in hundreds place in six different ways then after that we can pick up any one of the remaining how many do we have one has already gone over here so the remaining so in the hundreds place there are six places so that means the remaining two digits that is tens place and units place two digits have to be selected out of it could even include 0 out of 2. So it's going to be 6 into 6 P2. So it's going to be 6 into 6 factorial, 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 6 minus 2 factorial, that is 4 factorial. So it's going to be 180. The other way of doing it is, of course, hundreds place, you have taken 6. There are 6 ways of choosing. In tens place, you can choose apart from the one you have chosen you have six more including zero because in the first place you don't have zero and hence there are six and in the units place you after choosing this we are still left with five so it's going to be six into six into five that is 180 such numbers can be formed now here we have how many three digit numbers can be formed from the digits zero one two three four five six if repetition is allowed so here it is going to be in the hundreds place you have one two three four five six so six is the only possibility and then in tens place seven of them are available including this because it's told repetition is allowed so it's going to be into seven and in the units place Again, all the seven of them are available. So it's going to be six into seven into seven. So if repetition is allowed, whatever you added over here is included. Plus there is an additional zero in this. Here, whatever you include in these two could be included in this. So And there is an additional zero, which is not available. So total number of such numbers is seven into seven into six. That is 49 into six, which is 294. 294 such numbers can be formed using these digits. 
So this is the difference between repetition. Now you have to remember one thing that if they don't specify this clause, it is taken for granted that digits are not repeated. So if the digits are not repeated, either they will not mention it or they will specifically mention digits are not repeated. But if repetition is allowed, it will be mentioned very, very clearly repetition. So if no such clause has been mentioned, you have to assume that the digits are not repeated. Okay. So we have this case wherein how many four digit numbers greater than 5000 can be formed using the digits. So here we have additional thousands place, hundreds place, tens place and units place. So in the thousands place we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 possible numbers can be included. And in the hundreds place 1 has gone out of which only 9 is left. Then after these two are used, we have 8 and then 7. Hence, the total number of such number is 5 into 9 into 8 into 7. Or thousands place, there are 5 numbers and the remaining are 9, B3. The remaining 3 digits are chosen out of 9 digits. One of which is included over here, which can also be written as 5 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial upon 9 minus 3 6 factorial which turns out to be 5 into 9 into 8 into 7. So, so many such numbers do we have when repetition is not allowed. Okay, we have a similar kind of case wherein how many 4 digit numbers greater than 5000 can be formed using the digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 when repetition is allowed. So, again you have thousands digit uh, hundreds, tens and units. So in the thousands digit we have only five possible numbers. So five. Hundreds place all the ten could be used including the one which are used in the thousands place. So there are there is hundred. Then thousand place the same ones could be repeated and the unit place digit could be chosen in ten ways. So ultimately it's five thousand numbers we can have which also include the numbers in which digits are repeated. Hence, there are 5000 such numbers. Okay, let's move on to similar ones. The number of four digit numbers greater than 5000 formed out of the digits so and so. So, we have the answer is going to be 1, 2, 3. So, in the thousands place, there is 3, and the remaining. Three digits are chosen in one, two, three, four because one digit less, so three into four p three ways. So the remaining three digits, that is hundreds place, tens place, and units place, will be chosen out of four digits because out of the five, one has already gone over here. So it's going to be three into four factorial upon one factorial, which will be four factorial is twenty-four. So twenty-four into three. 72. So there are 72 such numbers. Let's check what we have. Yes, we do have that. The other logic is of course 3 into 4 into 3 into 2. That is thousands place 4 and then reduction of 1 1 number. Okay, then 4 digit numbers are to be formed out of the figure 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 with no digit repeated. The number of such numbers is what? So we have four digit numbers formed out of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So four digit numbers in the thousands place, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, only 4. And the remaining three digits are chosen out of 4. So again, it's going to be 4 into 4, P3, which is hence you will have 4 into 4 factorial upon 4 minus 3 1 factorial that is 4 into 24 that is 96. The other option is in thousands place you can choose 4 numbers and then in hundreds place you can choose 4 because this may also include 0. Tens place there is only 3 and units place you have only 2 which is 16 into 6 which is also 96. So our option correct here is 96 and yes we do have it that way. Then 
the number of numbers lying between 100 and 1000 can be formed with the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is what? Now there is no mention. So we have to assume that the repetition, the repetition of digits is not allowed and also understand that between 100 and 1000 means we are talking about three digit numbers. So we have 100 place, tens place and units place. So hundreds place can be chosen out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Units place would be 6 and this would be, so it's going to be 7 into 6 into 5. That is 42 into 5, 200 and 10. So we can have 210 such numbers without repetition of digits. Here there is no clause because we are talking about numbers between 100 and 1000 which could also, this includes any one of these digits in the hundreds place and hence there are 210 such numbers. Okay, do we have it right? Yes, we do have it or we can call it as 7P3. Okay, now here we have Number of numbers lying between 10 and 1000 that can be formed with the digits 2, 3, 4, 0, 8, 9 is what? So, first we have to see the two digit numbers and the three digit numbers. Between 10, so the two digit numbers, so the tens place in the two digit numbers can be chosen out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 base and the units place can be chosen without repetition. Again, after chasing, removing one, it could also include zero. So there are possibilities. So there will be five. So that means 25 such numbers, two digit numbers are available between 10 and 1000 containing these digits. Then the three digit numbers, how do we have? The hundreds place can be chosen out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So can be chosen in 5 ways. Then the tens place can be chosen again out of 5 because whatever has been taken over here is considered but additionally one zero is also in, could be included in tens place. We have 5 and in the units place two of the digits have been used since there is no repetition there are only four available so it's going to be 5 into 5 25 into 4 100 so the total number of such numbers is 25 plus 100 125 so there are 125 such numbers which lie between 10 and 1000 which contain these digits with no repetition of digits and yes, we do have it as 5 into 5 plus 5 into 5 into 4, that is 125. Then we have total number of 9 digit numbers of different digits is what? There are 9 digit numbers of different digits. So totally there are 10 digits we have. Now, now in, the, in the first digit, there can be only 9 and the remaining ones that is used, remaining 9 can be arranged in 9 factorial ways. So the first digit that is in the ninth, uh, the first digit can be picked out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the remaining 9 digits can be picked out of the remaining 9 excluding the one that is and this could also include 0. So it's going to be 9 into 9 factorial. So thus we have 9 into 9 factorial and yes we do have it. How many numbers greater than a million can be formed with the digits 4, 5, 5, 0, 5, 4, 5, 3. If you see we need to find also this is a case of repetition involving repetition of some digits over here. So, <coughs> so we have 1 million 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have seven places in the million. So in the millions place can be chosen out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But out of that in the millions place you cannot have zero. So you can choose the millions place in six ways. Then the remaining six places, one, two, three, four, can be chosen in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. By, without any repetition of digits, it can be chosen in 6 factorial ways. This would be true if 
the given digits are not repeated. This is different from the case wherein the digits are not repeated. That means this is repeating. So out of this, since it is repetition case, we need to divide it by 1, 2, 3. That is 3 factorial and the 4 repeats itself 2 times. So 2 factorial. This turns out to be 6 into 3, 6, 7, 6, 6 factorial is 720 upon 3 factorial is 6 upon 2 which turns out to be 360. So there are 360 such numbers wherein with these digits can be formed. So let's see what the answer is and yes we do have this. There is another way of doing it 7 factorial by 2 factorial into 3 factorial. This includes all the numbers including the 0 minus 6 factorial by 2 factorial into 3 factorial that will also give you 360.